Assalamu alaikum, peace be upon you. I am Dr. Amal Mohamed Osman Khader, pediatrician by training, and I'm also the course director here at Wild Cornell Medicine in Qatar. I have joined in 2006, and I have been here for a while. Not every child is the same. We might have some children who are very sensitive. So if we, we have to have all our senses up to see if they are feeling happy about something to support it and praise it and, and move forward. But if they are feeling, having some mixed feeling about something, we have to respect and acknowledge that and support them and try to investigate what's going on, not to interrogate them for sure. We all know that within the same family, within the same siblings, we have different personalities and different capabilities. One of the main things is for the parents to understand that to start with and stop comparing among them. The other thing is if they realize one of their children like to paint and draw, they can support that bringing more material, get them involved in some activities related to artwork and talk to the teacher and be always in dialogue with the teacher if you need further tutoring just to help them to refine their skills. If they realize their child like to play soccer or basketball, is to encourage them by having them play outside, bring them the ball if possible, have them involved in some clubs and praise them. Uh, we have to support them when they do well, we have to support them when they don't do well. And if they love what they are doing, we have to keep supporting them. But also we realize, for, for example, then they decide we don't like it anymore. We have to respect that too. First of all, we need to investigate why they don't like it after they played two to three years, but then still we have to respect maybe they want to explore something else. So we have to be mindful to help them to explore something else because they might not be good in soccer, but they might be good in swimming. So we have to be, as parents, mindful of that and support that change when it happens. We have a lot of sports, we have a lot of competitive sports, so the soccer, basketball and others. And the children see those um, champions uh, as role model. However, if we don't build the first steps, they are already not into exercise. They will not try to compete to become champions. So sometimes we can use that, but again, we need the parents to be involved early on to get them early on involved in some sort of sports through school or other clubs or other, even in the around their house if, they, if it's safe, yeah, not near a street or something, or in the backyard if they have a big yard, to let them play and, and get them more to play versus playstations, plus watching TV, plus being on iPad. I know we have the season and, and the weather is not always helping, but we also have indoor activities when it's really hot or very cold. So really it depends all on the parents' attitude towards it, their involvement, increasing their awareness, because then we can filter into the young world. I am Dr. Amal Mohamed Osman Khader. I'm a pediatrician by training and I'm also the course director for pediatrics here. I'm also a mother for four children. And from my work experience and being a mom, I would like to relate to you and tell you that raising children is not easy and it's very important to be aware about some parenting skills. I encourage you all to go and read about it early as you can. And even if you have older kids now, you can go and read, increase your awareness. It's very important to be connected with your children early on, be involved in their lives. That will help you with the nutrition, with the exercise, with their mental health. And always remember, sahatak awalat.